What's happening, Automotive Pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I wanted to pick this up. It's a C Reader OBT OBD2 scanner. Uh, it's the 400L, and I was really impressed with the last OBD scanner I got. Oh, it's not a 400L. It's 4001 font. And so I was really impressed with the last one I got, and I thought I'd try this one out too because I think they have come a long way. Now there are a number of ways to read the onboard uh, diagnostic tools on your car, but um, just thought I'd check this one out because it's not that expensive and you can have everything, you know, one simple little device. Now, so I got the scanner out of the blister pack here. Looks like we have a couple of things. We also we have a mini USB cable here, which is kind of interesting. I think maybe this is to connect it to a, your computer. And then we have the OBD connection here, standard pin, we'll usually fit into the plug, uh, usually underneath your dash, on the driver's side somewhere. And then here's the scanner itself. Uh, pretty cool looking. Man, it's slim. It's, I mean, it's really slim. Uh, and <laughs> it's super comfortable and it's really super light. I guess I shouldn't have expected it to be big and heavy or anything, but man, it is just really, really uh, nice in the hand, a little texture on the back here, so really comfortable to hold. It almost feels like a toy, it's so th slim. So now what we have to do, lots of buttons, looks like a pretty big screen here. You know, navigation buttons, enter, back. Uh, let's plug this sucker in and see what we can see on the car. Let's go out. So I just plugged in the ODB scanner and uh, I don't even have the power on in the car, but it's drawing enough power to actually turn on and one thing i will say about this thing is man the screen is great uh you know decent resolution in color i mean really i'll be honest like one of the best i've ever seen and it's kind of on a budget odb scanner so pretty cool um obviously you can see here i can navigate with the buttons you know doing the uh manipulation here um enter and back um, so I'm just going to actually turn on the power accessory here. You don't have to start up the car generally. You just power up. And now, as far as I know, there's nothing wrong with my car. So what I am going to do is just here is diagnose it and just make sure no pending codes or anything like that. I'm going to hit enter. And look at this. Pretty cool. Entering the system. Doing all sorts of super high-end things and then you can maneuver or navigate readiness completed um, read codes and I have no fault codes yes which is what I was expecting, to be honest. Um, and then you can just keep hitting back, but pretty awesome. I mean, um, I love it, man. I, like I said, I used to have an OBD scanner, paying a hundred bucks for it. All it would tell me is P0102 or whatever it was, and you'd have to look it up afterwards. You can actually, um, get all of that information and more on these things. And the other thing I will say is I did plug it into the computer, connect to the micro USB. You can actually go to the website and download the latest firmware for this if you want. So that's really what it's meant to do is uh, to update the software. So pretty cool there too. You know, you can get all the latest code. So I, I'm definitely a big fan of this. I'll put a link to it in the description. I picked this one up on Amazon. Uh, if you work on your car a lot, uh, especially you know, slightly older cars that you're trying to maintain, you know, uh, mass airflow meter errors or oxygen sensors, you know, one of these things is going to help save you a lot of money as you're doing your emissions repairs. Peter Von Pand out.